Welcome to another video guys. It's officially autumn here in Maine and because of where we live in our location there's a lot of trees and hardwoods they drop leaves as you can see. Because of those leaves I decided to go ahead this is our third year here in this house and I've always raked but I decided to go ahead and get a backpack blower to help with the cleanup process. So let's open this thing up. So why did I go with a backpack blower over a handheld blower? Uh, for me, it's a couple of reasons. I've owned a Husqvarna handheld blower, and I've used a steel one as well. And then when I did lawn care, we used Echo backpack blowers. And for me, the backpack blower, even though like the miles per hour that the air blows isn't too much different between a handheld and a backpack, a couple of advantages over the handheld with a backpack is, number one, you're not holding the whole thing on your hand. When you go full throttle on a handheld, it definitely twerks your hand out there. Whereas with a backpack, it's on your back, so the, the power and the torque is back there rather than on your wrist, which is one huge advantage. But the volume of air that this pushes compared to a handheld is also greater, which helps push more air into the leaves, get them off your lawn. So the main component of this is the actual backpack blower. It's actually not a ton of pieces all together. Get that box out of the way. You do have some clamps here and they give you enough oil for a gallon of premix. I use that, I just go to my local box store and I just get these small containers of oil and I mix my own gas. I know you can get pre-mixed, but I mix my own. So here we've got the padded straps here. We've got the padded back plate as well as the vented so you don't get as sweaty. It's got some spots for air to flow there. And when I get this on, that's what it looks like without the tubes. So your tubes go here. You can adjust the angle of this, then your tubes go in here. So your throttle is controlled here. You do have a throttle hold, so you don't have to actually hold the throttle the whole time. Um, and then your stop is there. So everything's controlled here, but the actual engine's back here. So that makes it so much easier on your wrist. And then you can adjust these straps, of course, just like a backpack. And get to work. I gotta get the tubes on here. Gotta get this set up. I will do that and then I'll check back with you. It's got a metal ring here for durability because sometimes this hits the ground and when I did commercial lawn care, this ring helped keep the plastic from wearing because the ones that I used uh, back then just had the plastic and that would wear uh, from hitting it on the ground. It works very similar to the way that the trimmer works. I'm gonna take this, put this inside there like that. I'm gonna put some gas in this. This is my pre-mix 50 to 1 that I use for the Echo trimmer. Get that in there, no spillage, be careful. I'm gonna put hearing protection on. Make sure you put the gas cap back on, that's important. And there's a primer bulb down here. So it's four to five times. Just gonna get some gas in there. Just like the Echo trimmer, there's a choke right here. See, there's some fuel in there now, so that's good. I'm gonna put it on choke. So on the handle itself, let me show this to you. There is this switch here. So stop is all the way forward. It actually clicks, and then one click forward is low or on. That's where we can start it from. And then you can actually almost like cruise control the throttle handle there. Go back to there, click, go off there. So we're gonna put it on and we're gonna give this a pull. I'm gonna put a little throttle in there. One thing to note, make sure you take the choke off. That was my problem there. Is it kind of started and I had the choke still on. So take the choke off, it'll start right now. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on. Whoa! It blows a lot of air. So this is on idle. <laughs> Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera off of here. I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing. This is crazy. I have it on idle and watch this.
Granted, those are dry leaves, but let's go over here where we've got some pine needles and stuff. And I'm gonna just ramp up the throttle from low all the way up to high and show you what we're looking at here. Check this out. of the tree. So with a blower, it comes down to technique in terms of how you kind of point the nozzle. So you get a back and forth motion that moves a good amount of leaves. Uh, but if you've got some leaves that are stuck in a bush or something like that, you get a little up down action. Sometimes that'll throw the leaves out. Uh, but do the back and forth and you can kind of get closer to the ground. You can see like, I'll try to find a leaf that's stuck and show you, but is when you're blowing and you get under the leaves it creates a draft and the leaves will actually pick up into the air so as you're going back and forth go up and down as well you'll notice I do that here to catch the leaves so they don't blow back onto the spot that I already blew say is it's gonna make quick work of the lawn that's for sure and it's all on your back my hands actually getting more tired carrying the camera than it is with the blower so last lesson of the day let me move over here so you can actually see here we go this is your throttle you can use this little piece here that's to go off you click it all the way up go on we're right in the on position and then cruise control you pull this and then pull this down and it locks it so watch and then to turn it off you just click it up wow there we go sorry for the noise I I mean it's a blower but make sure you wear hearing protection and happy leaf blowing. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and ask me questions. Uh, I used to do lawn care commercially and then switched over to maintenance management software and implementation. So I have quite a background in a bunch of different stuff. So hit me up with questions below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.